Hi there, my name is Austin Newman. And I'm Kelly Lindloss. And today we're going to show you how to integrate geological and geophysical data to create a more effective interpretation using Sizewear. I'm going to represent the geophysicist working in the project, and Kelly is going to be our geologist. We are going to be working with the Winnipeg Osis Reef System for the purposes of this demo. In the end, we're going to have an integrated picture of the reef system by leveraging both the seismic and log data together. I've picked my horizon being displayed and taken it one step further, running a spectral decomposition, finding that 30 hertz gave me the best visual of the reef. Meanwhile, I have picked our zones using the tops and log information, and I want to calculate a porosity curve for my density logs. Using our Python-based geology calculator, we can quickly run a porosity calculation and instantly we see it pop up in pink in our log editor. Our end goal here is to compare the porosity data that I've calculated with our spectral decomposition map that Austin has generated. To do that, we can extract the average porosity over the defined zone and directly compare it by cross-plotting both attributes. Now that I have the average porosity of the zone, I'm going to display it on the base map as a well ribbon. This shows the range of porosities I have for the wells along the reef system. This can then be quickly converted to a surface. Taking a look in our cross plot, we have Kelly's average porosity zone attribute being compared to the amplitude of my 30 hertz spectral decomposition map. We can see that we have a nice 0.8 roughly correlation between the two pieces of data which we can use to derive a porosity surface of the reef. Inputting the formula from the cross plot into the grid calculator, we can output our new porosity surface. I'm going to crop this surface to be just calculated within our defined reef area. And here's the final result of our surface. I can turn on our polygon to more clearly show the outline of the reef. I hope you were able to see how we can integrate geology and geophysical data to quickly and effectively improve your subsurface interpretation. If you do have any questions or would like more information, please reach out and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.